Hi all of you, INI SS April 2024 session is announced and the date of examination is on 27th April 2024 and online registration for application is started. So a student can ask me, sir, should I apply for this? I have prepared, I have not prepared. The first and foremost step is to apply for this exam. Once you apply for the exam, you'll be able to give the exam. Once you give the exam, you'll be able to get good ranks. Once you get good ranks, then you'll be able to get a lot allocation of seats in the Institute of AIMS related institute and PGI Chandigarh and Jipmer or Nimans or Sri Chitratranal Institute of Higher Learning. So this process is a must. Without applying, without writing, it's not possible to get a good rank and a seat in the Central Institute. So, whether I will get or not is not the question that you should decide and only the examination will decide and you should be very positive enough to give the exam. So, only if you give the exam, you will be able to get the seats in those central institutes. So, let us go into the important dates of uh, examinations and let us look into the each and every parameter in detail. The NESS 2024 prospectus has been announced. Let us go through the important dates. The date of uploading prospectus and starting of online registration is 27th March 2024 and the last date of submission of the application is 10-4-2024 and that is on Wednesday and the status of application whether it is accepted or rejected is seen on 13-4-2024 and the last date for correction of the rejected application is 16-4-24 okay and the Important aspect of the finalization of centers and allocation of the roll number and admit card is 22nd April 2024. And the return test, this is the most important date because this date you need to go for the exam. That is on 27th April 2024. That is on Saturday. So very, very important. And the course start date is 1st July. And the last date of admission will be 31st August 2024 and date of fulfillment of eligibility of the admission is 31st July 2024. So very clear. So two important dates for sure. Last date of submission of application is 10th April 24 and the return examination CBT online CBT is 27-4-24. Okay. Now there are totally 15 institutes of AIMS is participating including AIMS New Delhi and the various cities from Bhopal to Bhubaneswar, Jodhpur, Patna, Raipur, Rishikesh and Bat India and Nagpur, Bilaspur, Mangalagiri, Rajkot, Gorakhpur, Bibinagar. So all these are AIMS related institutions and then the 16th is about the Jipper Pondicherry, 17th is the Nimhans Bangalore and then 18th is the PGI Chandigarh and 19th is Sri Chitra Thirunal Institute of Medical Science and Technology. So, roughly 19 institute participate in this NESS program. Now, the age limit, very, very important. The criteria for age limit, most of the students will ask me. You can just look into this video and can understand. As per the AIMS institutions, the upper age limit is 35 years as on 1st July 24. If you look into the PGI, it is 45 years at the time of 1st July 24. And if it's hands, it's 37 years or so on 1st July 24. And for Sri Chitra Tiranal, it is 40 years on 1st July of 24. The age relaxation is for OBC candidates, it's 3 years of relaxation. It's for SC and ST candidates, it is 5 years of relaxation. Upper age limit of ex-servicemen, commissioned officers including ECO, SSCO and who have rendered or released a satisfactory assignment with age relaxation of maximum of 5 years and upper age limit is not applicable for sponsor candidates and the persons who have benchmark disabilities shall be given an upper age limit of relaxation of 5 years. So, this is also you should look into it. Okay. And Nimhans, Bengaluru, the upper age limit is 37 years as on 1st July 2024. Very clear. So, age limit you need to look into it as an important criteria as given in the prospectus. Now, let us go into the scheme of examination. Very, very important. So, the total number of questions is 80 question and the time duration is 90 minutes and it is 80 marks and it is an objective single best answer. Positive is 1 mark, negative is minus 1 third. Very clear. So, there is a negative marking of minus 1 third. Have that in your mind and the question paper will constitute of basic, general basic component from the qualifying exam that is whatever you belongs to an MD or an MS, whatever the specialty that will have a basic and also 
from the sub superficiality of the system or the component of the superficiality for which the examination is being conducted. So, in general, for the past 3 4 years, I can tell you what has happened from the date of Institute of NESS that is, 25 to 30 questions have been asked from the federal branch or from what you belong to. And around 50 to 55 questions are asked from superficiality standards from superficiality standard textbooks. So, that is what we always say that the maximum number of questions is from the superficiality book. So, you need to concentrate and should be thorough in those areas which have been asked previously also. That is the reason why in speed learning app, uh, we insist that you prepare for all exams. And as the NESS comes first and the NEETSS comes next, so it is better that anyway you have to read the general federal branch. It is going to be uh, general surgery or medicine or going to be OG or pediatrics or ENT, whatever might be or anesthesia, pulmonology, whatever might be the federal branch is a must because you come from that area, you will have a thorough knowledge on that, you have passed your exams. So, you will have to prepare for 25 to 30 questions and superficiality standard of 55 questions. So, it has been well demarcated and clearly given in the speed learning app in the both perspectives and it is always said it is 25 to 30 percent more than the standard of examination is the content that we are given in the speed learning app. You can go through once and revise those notes and PowerPoint slides for three times will be more than enough to tackle this exam, right. Now, let us move on to the uh, step two. That means step one is a multiple choice question, yes and you have to uh, pass the passing criteria is 50 percent. So, that is very, very important. So, this I have left actually this passing percentage is 50 percent in stage 1. Stage 2 is the clinical assessment. So, clinical assessment is for two institutions. One is AIMS and PGA Chandigarh and the mark that carries is 20 marks. So, what are the competency level checked at the departmental, clinical, practical or lab based assessment, okay, related to the subspeciality system or component of the speciality of the course for which the candidate has applied in the respective departments of at AIMS New Delhi. So, this is kept generally as an online as a viva and a question that have been asked and 20 marks is allocated for that. So, step 1 is multiple choice, step 2 is a practical viva OC and the thing is 50 percent for stage 1 we said and stage 2 also 50 percent combined also should be more than 50 percent. Yes, only then it is qualified. Once the qualification criteria is met, then according to the rank list, the student will have the publication of the AML merit list. Now, the Qualifying candidates, three times of the qualifying candidates or two times the number of seats available in each institute, the students will be called for to sit for the stage two clinical examination. So, that is what it is all about. And once the list is ready, so the list of CML will be ready after stage one of examination, right. And stage one and stage two for AIMS and PGH and Digger, then you have the AML merit list, okay. So, the CML merit list for other than AIMS and PGH and Digger. And the AML merit list is for both AIMS and PJ Chandigarh and combined of both will get you the scores and based on the scores you will have the AML merit list, okay. Now, what are the centers that has been conducted across all the major centers from Ahmedabad to Chennai to Hyderabad to Bangalore, Bhopal, Bhubaneswar, Chandigarh, Delhi, Gohati, Jodhpur, Kolkata, Mumbai, Pondicherry, Trivandrum and Varanasi. So, all these places the examination is conducted. Now, number of seats, very, very important. The student will ask, sir, what are the number of seats available so that I can sit for this exam? This is my interest. So, in DM, let us look into the DM. DM, it is acute emergency medicine is three seats. DM addiction psychiatry is six. Cardiac surgical intensive care is five. Cardiac anesthesiology is six. Cardiology itself is 20. And cardiovascular radiology and endovascular intervention is three. I am talking about the general and sponsor is given here for your reference. And child and adolescent psychiatry is 4, clinical hematology is 5, clinical immunology and rheumatology is 3 and clinical pharmacology is 9, critical care and intensive care is 16 and endocrinology is 13 and forensic pathology is 2 and forensic psychiatry is only sponsored candidates available is 2, forensic radiology and virtual autopsy is 1 and gastroenterology DM is 13 and geriatric psychiatry is 2, hematopathology is 4, hepatology is 1 high altitude medicine is 1, histopathology is 1, hospital medicine critical care is 1, infectious disease is 16, good number, intervention radiology is 3, medicine and forensic technology, uh, I mean toxicology is 1, medical genetics is 9, good number, medical oncology is 8, neonatology is 9, nephrology is 18, good number, neuroanesthesiology and critical care is 14, neuroimaging and interventional neuroradiology is 7, 
neurology is 21, neuropathology is 1, onco anesthesia is 6 and pediatric anesthesia intensive care is 1, pediatric cardiology is 4 that is only in sponsored and pediatric clinical immunology and rheumatology is 3 again only in sponsored, pediatric emergency medicine 1 and only in general and pediatric endocrinology only 1 in sponsored and pediatric gastroenterology and hepatology is 1 in general and 2 in sponsored. Now coming to pediatric superficiality, pediatric hematology and oncology is 5, pediatric nephrology is 1, pediatric neurology is 3, pediatric oncology is 3, pediatric pulmonology intensive care is 1 in sponsored, pediatric pulmonology is 2 in general, pediatric critical care is 4 and pain medicine is 1 in sponsored and pulmonary and critical care and sleep medicine is 26, see the number. 10 in general and 26 in uh, general and 10 in sponsored reproductive medicine 1 in DM and DM therapeutic nuclear medicine 1 in general and trauma anesthesia and acute care 1 in sponsored pediatric anesthesiology 1 in sponsored and 1 in general and DM virology only 1 seat in general. Now let us come to the MCH uh, superficiality and its branches and number of seats. MCH breast endocrine and general surgery is 3 and CTBS is 38 the whole huge number and MCH, cornea, cataract and refractive surgery is only 1 that are in sponsored, GA surgery is 7 in total in general and 2 in sponsored and MCH, gynec oncology is 1 in general and 4 in sponsored and MCH, hand and microvascular surgery 1 seat in general and uh, MCH, head and neck surgery and oncology and head and neck surgery will be 6 and MCH, joint replacement reconstruction is 3, MCH, minimal access surgery, general surgery is 1, neurosurgery is 27 and you see pediatric orthopedics is 2 and pediatric surgery is 22, huge number, plastic surgery is 26, good number, renal transplant surgery is 1 and spine surgery is 1 and surgical oncology is 10 and trauma surgery and critical care is 12 and urology is 14 and, and vitreoretinal surgery is 2 only in sponsored. Now total number of seats, this is the most important slide, overall what is the number of seats that are available? DM course it is 282 in general and 206 in sponsored and total is 488 seats are available. And now MCH 175 in general, 99 in sponsored and 274 of total seats of MCH available as a whole. So what you need to understand is as each and every speciality ranges from 6, 7 seats to maximum 15, 20 seats. So the general concept among the students, general aspect among the student is the number of seats are less compared to neat SS. So the chances of we getting into it is very less and it is a remote a possibility. So let us not give much importance to any SS, let us focus on neat SS. So that is the aspect and the idea of student. Now try to understand this is for each and every student, not only you, it is everyone. So, so the interest and number of students appearing for this exam is also getting reduced. So that what happens is those students who give the exam and with a dedicated preparation get the good seat with the number of seats available. That's what is happening now. Now what happened was the entire shift of competition has gone for NEET SS. Now actually when you compare the competition of NEET SS and to the number of seats and when you compare the number of seats to the competition for any SS, for any SS the competition is less. Need SSS competition is more because more than 90% of students focus there. Less than 10% of students look into it and when you look into comparison, the competition is actually lesser in ESS. So what I am trying to tell you is, first apply for the exam. Let exam decide whether you are deserving, you are qualifying or not and why you should decide that. That is my question. Yes. So what I am trying to tell you is, the first and foremost step, the announcement has come apply and give an exam. What if if you get a seat and what if if you get a good rank and a seat in Central Institute, you will say, no, no, I was interested only in ETSS. Though the seat has come in ETSS, I am not willing to take it. Will anyone say that? No one will say that. So give an opportunity, give a chance for yourself. Let us see. Yes, for your luck and for your time, you can get a paper of your preparation and definitely you could have done well. And that opportunity you should not lose. So that is my point here. So apply for the exam, give the exam. Now if you have not prepared anything, the strategy I can tell you is, sir, nothing I have prepared for NESS, what I can do? See I can tell you there are students I know that even last year interviews you can take up that is available in YouTube in Speed Channel. Student has just read for 15 days, 15 days just have seen the video for 5 to 8 hours once of 
all the videos that is required for that speciality. There are students who have taken for neurosurgery, for surgical gastroenterology, DM gastroenterology, for any speciality, DM cardiology. They have done, they have been basically preparing, after seeing my video, they have been basically preparing only for NEETSS. And I told this story, even last year I told this story, just 15 days of watching video only once, they have given exams, they are all success stories, they have got within top 5 ranks, 6 rank, top 10 ranks and they have got into Central Institute. It is just giving a chance and opportunity to just prepare for a 15 days or a month before the exam. Just go through the videos once in Speed Learning app which has been put into the app once and just scroll through the PowerPoint slides of the notes of the same videos of three times before the exam and give minimum of say five any SS based grant test that will do your preparation will give you a good attempt. I am not guaranteeing you that for sure you will get rank number one. But definitely one thing I can guarantee you a good preparation and a good attempt yes will give you a satisfying attempt for an exam and that could give you good chances that to get into good results and people have done it and people have been successful in, in doing it and people have shared with me after the results in the interviews. That's why I'm telling you give an opportunity of preparation, give an opportunity of giving an exam. Yes, and that 15 days you work sincerely. Just 15 days before the exam you apply leave. The 27th is the exam. Yes, if possible, apply leave from the second week of April if permits, if, if you have time, apply leave. And just sit for full time for 15 days. Give 10 hours at least minimum, 10 to 12 hours minimum. You can watch all the videos within 15 days. At least give one attempt of watching it and give five grand exams. And go for the exam. It will make a huge difference. Anyway, you are interested in that speciality, right? In a super speciality, a DM or an MCH, one speciality you are interested. That speciality you have learnt now. And that anyway will be useful for you when you take that speciality. So you would have given one preview through of that speciality right now. And that if clicks and that it suits, that you get a good rank. Then you move on with that. Then there is no need SS after that. Oh, you need to sit on read for another 5-6 months for September. No, finish, chapter closed, go on, pack up. Pack up to any of the aims in any of the aims cities of the PGI or Chitra Jipmer. Your life will change. Sir, your life will change, sir. So, I am telling you that you should give this opportunity to yourself. So, do not judge yourself. Do not feel that I am not a deserving candidate for all this. There will be less number of seats I cannot qualify through. That mental block you come out of it. Give a sincere attempt. Even I am telling you, even if you don't prepare also, give a, just give an exam. There are students have given all 80 out of 80. Yes, and have a, got a decent rank. At least that bare minimum you should do. But the best will be to one sincere preparation is a must. But even if not, you feel that I will not do it. If you are very strong, I should not do it. At least give the exam and see. At least you will know where you stand. Yes, you will get a feel of the paper. And that might mean provoke an interest to prepare for the subsequent exam. Or to correct your mistakes for the upcoming NEET SS exam in September proposed date. Okay. So, come on. So, enthusiasm and energy and the passion towards what you want drives where you want to go. So, what I am trying to tell you is and a fantastic opportunity awaits you to get a good seat and a good rank in the Central Institute. Give it. Give a sincere preparation. Yes. From right now, from now on, 2 to 3 hours if you prepare for any SS. Prepare every day 2 to 3 hours. And towards the last a full time of 10 to 12 hours, you will it'll help you to reach the goal. And those students are already preparing for any SS exam. Spend 80% of your time in speciality and spend 20% of your time in the feeder branch. Yes, so that should be your strategy. Understood? So that the deciding factor is the speciality, super speciality. Because the core speciality that you belong to, you will have some comfort level to answer it. But that is also important, but more important is super speciality. Okay, so because I have gone through all this system of examination, we know what it is. I am seeing these exams from 2017 from the institution of the exam of NEET SS and for past 3-4 years of NESS, huge experience and the faculty of speed and the management of speed and the team of speed is always with you to help you to reach out and you can reach out at any time, we will be able to help you out in getting a good resource which is available in speed learning app for you and you can go through once and get for this exam done. Wish you all the best to have a great preparation ahead and I wish you all the best for any SS April session 2024. Best wishes to you. Thank you very much.